<laughs> and uh, it's still out there in places. Adam, what's going on? Yeah, it still hasn't uh, changed a whole lot. We are seeing the front moving through, though, so that's why the rain is picking up a little more here into the evening. So just before sunset, expect to see some of the heavier showers that we'll have here into the night, and then we'll see those start to taper off to a few off and on showers. And you can see through this time lapse video of shoreline, uh, you can start to see some of those bigger raindrops falling here as we made our way into the evening and that is moving through with the front a little bit of a wind too that's going to be around so we'll see those winds around maybe 5 to 15 miles per hour at times but what the rain has done here for the past few days and really for the past week or so has helped to keep that pollen count down tree pollen at low levels and uh, we're seeing that for oak, cedar, juniper and birch. Now we do expect the things do dry up and start to warm up a little more later this week, so could start to see some changes in that. But while we have the colder weather in place, more snow expected across the mountains. Northern Cascades, we have a winter weather advisory out there and across the Southern Cascades. You can check out the amounts between 5 to 12 inches expected by tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening. In between there, no advisories, but Stevens, White Pass, and Snoqualmie Pass, we're still expecting to see some accumulating snowfall, but snow levels will be around 3,500 feet, so around Snoqualmie Pass, more of a mixture, perhaps even some rain at times, but White Pass currently it looks like the highway is looking fine there and our Stevens Pass camera showing some of the snow falling as we speak right now. Still the highway not too bad of shape yet, but as we go into the night, we do expect that some of that will start to accumulate on the, the surfaces there. 47, we got the rain coming down in Seattle, a west wind at about seven miles per hour. Those will start to uh, taper off to around five as we go deeper into the night, but those numbers are falling here as the front is pushing through, so a lot more 40s for Seattle and now in Bremerton. In Tacoma right now sitting at 48 while farther south and east you go. We're still holding on to the 50s and Renton and for parts of King County and Pierce County out towards the west where that front is already pushed on through. We got temperatures already dropping into the low to mid 40s. The rain is pushing on by and there as you go farther to the north and east, you're starting to see some of that heavier rain moving up into the mountains and that's where we're really going to start to see some of the, the uh, snow crank on up as the system is wrapping around some cool air which will bring in a reinforcing dose of cool air. So tomorrow's highs pretty similar to where they are today, but once we get that air mass to start to kick on out of here later this week should be much nicer. Here we are tonight. The steady rain that you see with a lot of that green filled in that is working its way east. So shower activity by about 10 o'clock tonight. We're already seeing more of that off and on activity. Snow farther north across the Cascades will start to come down a little farther south and we'll see that around Stevens Pass as we go into tomorrow morning. Still for your commute though here in the lowlands, some rain off and on, but no worries about any of that snow mixing in. Amounts of rain between a half an inch to an inch here over the next couple of days. And then for the snow, the next 24 hours, Mount Baker, the big winter up around 12 inches. And then eventually we'll see between four to eight for other areas here across some of the resorts southward. 52 tomorrow will top off at 55 on Wednesday. That'll be a drier day with rain late into the day. And then the weekend not looking to be too bad. Definitely not a washout, but a few showers could be around with our upper 50s.